All right, here's a quick view of my shop. Lots of stuff hung up. These are 10 foot ceilings. When I built this, actually a little shorter than 10 foot, but lots of stuff is hung up high. This thing, this point right here is at six feet from the ground. So I can walk underneath all this crap without worrying about kicking it or hitting it in my head. Um, I have little extra tables like this. They're actually hinged. So if I had to, I can drop them down and, and have a complete space. My new big table is completely rolled. So I can roll it around. It has locking casters on it to keep it from moving around. It's built pretty sturdy. Two by fours, four by four posts. I did run electrical onto it with a uh, just an extension cord so that I can unplug it and move it wherever I needed to do. It does have two lights on it. And uh, you were thinking of both on the uh, you know, a movable table. So here's my Lazy Susan. I put a little bungee cord on it to stick skids underneath to kind of help hold it just to stabilize it. This one has, uh, it's hinged in two places. This is the actual holder that I can swing out of the way. And then this, the table has two hinges and this can drop completely down and out of the way makes it a little bit more compact but it gives you space so and then up on top i measured it just enough to fit my biggest helicopter uh so that the door could roll up and not hit anything and uh then i have storage for all my helicopters up on top i have central air central electricity so I can do any number of things with it in any direction, kind of centralized in the room. It's worked out pretty good for me so far. I have one uh, section I have just for doing my skids. More shelving, 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 shelving. My uh, lathes, two lathes, my little mill. Not real accurate, but it's, it does the job. Uh, I have my vacuums. All in here, boxes of rags, my torch for uh, doing my landing skids. I got, this was a cool little thing I'd seen. It's a, uh, a belt with a grinder that I use. I have. So everything's really tight and compact. I have my cutter. It's all movable. The cord actually, I just drilled the hole and put the cord down below. So I didn't have cords running back behind anything. Um, <laughs> I have limited space in here, a lot more than others, but it's limited for me. Uh, my bandsaw, it kind of moves. It just clears. If I need to, I can get to my switch. The most important tool when you're making any woodworker type thing is a tabletop belt disc sander. This thing moves around so that I can, you know, you can see my piles of wood that my son loves to pile up. This thing can move around. I didn't bolt it down. Um, then I have my uh, little tabletop drill press, which everybody needs. This is my main work area. I have raised up the other Lazy Susan on here. And it does spin around so that you can put a helicopter on it and uh, work on either side of it. This one will actually hold my crane. Yeah, my sad little crane that's sitting up there waiting for more parts. Um, it'll spin 360 degrees uh, in this setup that I've got here. You see the, the top actually hangs over the wall that I have built back there. And... Uh, it's big enough to hold this whole thing and spin 360 degrees. Um, I made another uh, fluorescent light set up above this one. I realized when I made the big one over here, 
that I wanted another one. So, lots of light. <laughs> I have uh, outdoor lighting. Now, these are the big outdoor 90 watt bulbs. I've got uh, nine of them. And they're all pointed down in specific areas. So I have all kinds of light. Not only lights for the shop, and then specific lights, and then more fluorescent lights. My God, I don't need a heater in here in wintertime because the heat is just tremendous. <laughs> but I also have uh, I have some skylights that I put in to my shop. Um, it's a little spendy, but it was well worth it um, during the day. I hardly need any of the main lights for in here. You do the work in the shop with all your stuff stored, you're going to have to clean it off. You know, that's just part of it. I've built covers for all this stuff. Didn't make a bit of difference. It uh, still gets dirty. Even covered up, doesn't matter. So if you can afford to have a storage area just for your helicopters, I would suggest do it. That way they're, they're clean and uh, kept tidy and all that good stuff. Anyway, that's my little bitty shop. Uh, one last thing, I put uh, double doors. I can open up both those doors and take something, you know, five foot wide out if I had to. So, hopefully that gives you some ideas. Uh, I don't paint. <laughs> I didn't paint the place. I put pictures up. Primered the whole place and just put pictures up. It works for me. So, Hopefully you guys will find some ideas. If you guys got any questions, shoot me a PM, shoot me an email, send me a text, do whatever. Um, just to give you an idea, this is a 20 by 22 garage with 10 foot ceilings. Okay.